Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today, I wanna go over what we've done this week on this dock. We're changing up our YouTube channel a little bit. We're gonna do one weekly uh, build update only, and then we're gonna focus on how-tos, tutorials, top fives, tool reviews, and things like that for our other two videos per week. We're gonna still be launching three videos a week, but we feel like you guys appreciate some of the how-tos and the teachings more than you do the build updates. So we're gonna make our build update one post per week and we're gonna catch that like on the end of the week so we can get a lot of work done and then show you guys our progress for the week. So the last time you probably saw us, we may have just been building a simple frame. So if you like this video or you like our idea, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 80% of you do not subscribe to this channel and I would really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. So let's get into this build and let's show you what we did. So. Here it is. We got it all floating. Yeah, all right. So what we did was we started, these docks are all built with eight inch construction. So the beams are all four by eight and they're the perimeter of each dock is a four by eight square or rectangle. And then there's two by eight joists in between all of those. I don't know if I'm using the right terminology because it's a dock. I don't know if it's the same terminology as a deck, but that's how I know it and that's how you probably know my terminology. So that's what I'm going to use, okay? If somebody else wants to comment below, click subscribe first and then comment below about that, okay? All right, let's go check this out. All right, so first thing, the company that I bought all this hardware from is called Scott Co. Marine. Uh, the guy's name is Jay and he hooked me up and gave me a really good price. As a matter of fact, I was short a few bolts. I had to go buy new bolts and his price on the galvanized hardware was half that of Home Depot. Wow, half, half the cost of Home Depot, okay? Or ProBuild or any local lumber yard, anybody. It was, it was really a great price. So that in itself, I, I almost wanted to wait, but I couldn't wait two days for the shipping. These people do expedite really good. So check out Scott Co. Marine um, and see if they might be a fit for your next dock project. Okay, so as you can see, four by eight perimeter going around this dock, okay? Once we had our four by eight perimeter installed, we installed these corner brackets and they're through bolts. So. There's an outside bracket and an inside bracket to each corner of the dock. Probably the most important bracket on the dock. It holds everything together, even in busier waters. I think it's a man-made lake. There's no power boats allowed on this lake. It's only pedal powered boats and battery operated stuff. So you're not gonna see a huge wake on this dock, but we built this like commercial. We wanted to set an example of how to build a proper dock on this lake. And we're getting a lot of attention right now. So basically, we got the corners in place, okay? So once the corners are in place, we'll talk about the mounting hardware onto the bulkhead in a minute. But actually, this corner piece, it, it, it is systematic. So you have certain parts that you're going to put on certain places so that you can connect to a bulkhead or you can connect docks to docks. And we'll get, we'll get into that in a minute. But I'm just trying to explain to you what we used and how we did it. So we have our frame together. Now we built on top of the floats. Once I had my frame figured out, then I adjusted my floats and I made them square to the dock. We squared up the dock, we added the corners, and then we put in the floats. The floats were installed with galvanized, four inch galvanized bolts, lag bolts, that went up through the float and into the four by eight and that locked those together. Those also help keep things square while we finish building the frame of this dock. All right, so then I figured out our two by eight joist layout. They're about 15 and a quarter inches on center. And then we put in these angle brackets. Instead of using a joist hanger, there's this uh, three inch 90 degree L bracket. Again, everything is through bolted. All the carriage bolts have to be drilled through. We drilled hundreds of holes on this dock to put this thing together. Now on the back side of this L bracket, there's another double washer right here. So every single place that there's a bolt on this dock, there's a double washer, okay? So there's hardware going on the outside and on the inside of every joist and every beam. So once that's locked in and tightened, 
it stays. It's not going anywhere. So we pre-determined all of our elevations. I took a, a finish gun and I finish nailed all my joists to the proper heights before we bolted it together. Once the heights are figured out, you got to kind of mess with the floats a little bit sometimes. Things can kind of get in your way and get a little funky, but we got it handled. Once the ends were done, then I took a 2x8 here and the 2x8 I, I clamped all these joists to the proper layout and then I went underneath the docks and I screwed up from the bottom some three inch, three and a half inch uh, Fasten Master guard dog screws to hold everything in place. Took off the clamps and then I took and we installed, we drilled all these holes and we installed all these 90s. What's cool about these 90s, not only does it hold everything together, but it keeps your joists from doing this or this. It keeps them pretty much at a 90 degree angle, which is kind of nice. We don't have to do a bunch of pressure blocking to try to make these things sturdy because, I mean, look at that. It's pretty darn stout, okay? So then we had to drill all those out and bolt all those together. And there's two locations on the 20 foot docks and there's one location on the 14 foot dock where that board goes through and holds everything together. So basically, that's how we assembled the dock and then we G-taped it. Now that's not a traditional dock thing to do, but because I know about moisture and I know what moisture does to a deck, I went ahead and G-taped it anyways. I G and especially these plates, these two by eight plates here, if I wasn't gonna G-tape anything else, I would definitely G-tape those because that's where a lot of water is gonna sit. That would be your first piece that would decay in my opinion. I could be wrong. Okay, so now let's get into how we mounted this first section. This first section was the trickiest section because we had to do some digging, which kind of sucks. If you go to my Instagram page, you can see some time lapses on, on us doing that. And there probably will be a time lapse about us digging and how we had to move some dirt to get this thing to fit properly so that it, would, it floats on that end. This lake changes elevation probably a foot to two feet between summer and winter. So that's why when we attach this to the bulkhead, we needed to have hinges. So each dock has the ability to raise and lower with the elevation of the water and not have any pinch points. So this concrete was a little brittle. I wasn't crazy about it. The hardware is great. Scott Co. Marine sent us this bracketry. So they had done the layout for me. So all I had to do is look at the plan and go, okay, so this single bracket goes here, this double bracket goes there, and then we pin it together and we lock it in with a cotter pin and we're dialed. So the bulkhead has uh, two of those attached so that this whole dock can move up and down with the elevation of the water. Okay, so let's go out here. All right, so here's where the first set of docks connect. And so again, it's just basically all hardware driven with some pins. So the corners all fit together. As long as your dock sizes are right, you're not gonna have a problem just putting these things together. There's like a half inch of play or maybe three quarters of an inch of play back and forth. These are 12 inch floats and only three inches of the float is actually floating in the water. The other nine inches is sitting out of the water. Okay, let's go down to the next section. All right, so here's the second dock going to the third dock. Again, it's a corner piece that's pinned together here. And then there's a specialty set of hardware that we just had to measure out and lag through. Now one of our joists was gonna be in the way, but with these three inch 90 degree brackets, everything still worked out really great. It's all attached, all framed up, all floating, and all ready for decking, which is what we're getting to do right now. We're getting ready to cut up all these deck boards and get them installed. We're gonna use the Fasten Master stainless steel Cortex system. When I'm doing marine stuff, I like to use hot dip galvanized or stainless steel, and that's about it. I don't, I don't use carbon on the water. And then after that, once those do uh, the docks are skinned, then we gotta wrap them with fascia. We have a ladder that we're installing on this far corner. You can see the extra blocking over here. A couple of cleats, and then we have to drive a couple of stakes into the lake bed just to keep this thing from moving around too much in inclement weather, if it's really windy or something like that. The old ones were a little too far this way, so we cut those flush and capped them back off. You can kind of see one right here. 
so they're safe. So anybody that decides to swim under here, if they're so inclined, won't hurt themselves impaling themselves on a stake or a bar or anything like that. So, so that's where we're at guys so far. So far so good. Everything, I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. And it's just, it's kind of like an erector set. You just kind of assemble it all together, put in your bolts and you're dialed and good to go. So, so I think uh, I'm gonna get Dustin cutting some deck boards and we'll start installing some decking. <laughs> Right, guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it thanks for watching our update on our current dock build if you like what you saw please don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon don't forget to leave a down below and our videos if you're so compelled to thanks for watching guys have a great day